Imagine yourself on a beautiful palm tree lined street in Beverly Hills, California. Maybe it's the mid 1950s and maybe you find yourself to be a very high powered Hollywood superstar. You need a car. You need a 1957 Cadillac Eldorado BR Ritz. My name is Nick Calderon. This is Driven and today we take you behind the wheel and under the hood of this glorious American example. <laughs> the Biarritz was based on the 5th generation Series 62 Cadillac, which used a tubular X-frame without side rails, allowing it to have a lowered ride that just oozed style. This is a true cruiser built for comfort, not speed. This car is 61 years old. You know who's not 61 years old? Our 21-year-old owner, Brandon Davis. Uh, thank you for joining us today. What are you doing with such an old, cool 50s car? Well, me and my dad have always loved classic cars, so we decided to go into a joint venture and buy the car together. Nice. Um, it's pretty pristine. Can I drive it? Absolutely. You're my new best friend. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, just immediately, it is, it is Bodie. You're driving your <laughs> living room couch. And I'm loving it. <laughs> And what is it about this particular Cadillac Eldorado Buritz that, that, that speaks to you? Well, the car just oozes style. This car was owned by a madman type executive who, who worked as an ad man on Madison Avenue. Uh, it was purchased in Rochester, New York. And uh, the gentleman uh, had owned it for a number of years and moved to Arizona. And a collector picked it up and it went to Minnesota and then ended up in Southern California where it, it should rightfully belong. <laughs> I agree. In terms of its shape and the front of the car and the way that it was designed, it's not really supposed to be aerodynamic mm -hmm. other than the windshield. You don't say. Yeah. Despite the very jet-like features on the back of the car with the fins. Originally inspired by the P-38 Lightning fighter plane, this was one of famed designer and father of the tail fin Harley Earl's last acts before he retired. Earl mounted the sharply delineated fins of the 57 Eldorado inside the fender line, resulting in sort of a chubby chipmunk rear aspect that was used only for two model years. The whole reason because of that styling is because of the space race and during that time and with our race against the Russians to get to the moon first, uh, this car and many cars like it were designed alongside shuttles, missiles and other satellites. <laughs> Little, uh, little love and appreciation from the Rolls-Royce driver there. Oh yeah. <laughs> All the cool guys had them. Bugsy Siegel, Dean Martin, Jerry Lewis. If you were in Hollywood or Beverly Hills in the 50s, you were driving a Cadillac. Brandon Davis, thank you so much for letting me drive this beauty. I'm Nick Calderon. This has been another edition of Driven. If you love cars like this and want to see more, follow us at ClassicCars.com and keep up with us at YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We'll see you next time.